All right, this is James with Ready Tactical LLC. Right now we're gonna talk about common problems people have with their trigger control. All right, so we got Nate here. He's gonna pull out his handgun, checks it, it's clear. All right, verified. So, what we see a lot of people doing when they come out to shoot is they'll, we've, we showed you how to get the proper grip, now we're gonna show you how to do the proper trigger squeeze. The improper way to do it is the people that will come out, they'll aim, and they'll take their finger on the trigger and they're gonna jerk it back, okay? When he jerks it back, it causes the firearm to come off his point of aim before the bullet exits the barrel, okay? And it just, it throws it way off. Um, if you're doing this, you will find that your rounds typically are gonna impact lower or a little bit to your left, all right? Okay, so those are examples of jerking the trigger. Now, what a proper trigger squeeze looks like is this. He's gonna slowly bring the pressure back. All right, and it has a clean break right there. Okay, so jerking the trigger is when he's moving it, he's anticipating the recoil, he's scared of it. Okay, you do that, your bullet's not gonna impact where you want it to impact. So the right way to do it, slow and steady, okay? All right, the other thing that people are gonna do um, is they don't pay attention to the proper trigger reset. Now, if you get to look at the pistol here, when it's set up, okay, when Nate pulls the trigger, he's gonna hold it back, okay? All right, he's gonna hold it there. With reset, that's gonna simulate it kicking out the next round and put on, putting it in. He's gonna slowly let the trigger out until he hears the click. Now, he doesn't need to travel all the way forward again. He's gonna hold it right there and engage again. Okay, that's called trigger reset. And what that does is it controls um, your cadence and it keeps you more accurate. A lot of people, as soon as the, the weapon goes off, they throw their trigger finger right off. All right? Um, this is not the right way to do it. When you reset the trigger, uh, you can get your groups from, from this big down to really small when you're doing your accuracy training, okay? So make sure you remember proper trigger squeeze and proper trigger reset. You do that, you're gonna aim and shoot a lot better. So if you like that video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, leave us a comment. We'll see you in the next class.